Hi everyone, so I recently placed a Lush order. I typically only buy during their Boxing Day sale, which typically it's either buy one, get one, or for the last, I believe, two years, it's been 50% off. So the reason is because I've been interested in their body sprays for a long time, and I've always told myself, oh, I'm gonna buy it next year, and next year, and you know, it never comes. So I decided to take the plunge, and it's my birthday month, so I thought I'd treat myself. And I might have gotten a body spray from the new Mario collab. Uh, once again, this is from Lush. I think it's technically North America. I placed the order March 25th. And I think they were having some delays because I barely received it today, April 5th. However, I do want to note since body sprays have alcohol, I believe they're considered hazardous. So they have to be shipped via ground. I think that's like FedEx ground or UPS ground. Mine came via UPS ground. So let me go ahead open this up. I'm also going to have a small Trader Joe's and a small Etsy shop haul towards the end of the video, but I want to get the Lush portion out first. All right, so I have my scissors here. Uh, my address and stuff is on the side, so I'm going to try not to show it. Let's see. Okay, I might open this off camera, but I really love their packing boxes that they have. Yeah, let me try to open it this way. Oh, that wasn't so bad okay okay i had to go off camera just because it's really hard to open this with one hand so i think this should pop right open yes i really love the packaging for lush and i like that these are compostable if you put these in um, warm water or boiling water they should dissolve all right let me see what's in here even though i think i already know hopefully all my items are here let me take out my packing slip all right, so I just reviewed my packing slip and yet yeah, all the items that I got were here. I got three body sprays and one free sample. I don't know how it is in Lush UK or Lush um, Australia, but in Lush North America for the US shops, you are able to select a free sample and you have a pre, like um, preset ones like cup of coffee face mask, or you can also do like select conditioners and stuff like that. Okay, let me dig in. Oh, I think it's upside down. All right, so the first body spray that I picked out was actually Rose Jam, which is surprising because I am not the type of person to get rose scents. However, I tried Rose Argon and I fell in love with it. So I wanted to give Rose Jam body spray a chance. And I read online that people say that this lasts hours on your clothing. And I typically primarily buy from Bath & Body Works and those tend to last sometimes just one hour, if not minutes sometimes. This one is a sweet fruity rose and vanilla scented mist that'll leave you with a trail of admirers. So super cool. Let's see when it expires. So it doesn't expire until 2027. Love it. Here's the first item. Ooh, and this is the item that I'm super excited for. Like I said, I've only bought body sprays that are 50% off like Snow Fairy, Zesty, Celebrate. And honestly, I kind of think that these are very pricey. So Princess Peach was $45, which is insane. It's 6.7 fluid ounces. I believe Rose Jam is also 45. Some of them are a little bit cheaper like the other one I'm going to show you, but this one is $45. And then the packaging from a distance, if you like cover up the character, it looks very similar to Snow Fairy. This one, it says unleash sweet notes of juicy peach and fresh pineapple. What? Fit for the monarch of the Mushroom Kingdom. So I'm a kid that never played Mario. I never had any of the games. So my PlayStation or my game that I would always play would be... Uh -huh. I'm going to show my age, but it's the Sega Genesis. And I had that because my sister got that game and I never bought more than the games that she already had. So we had a lot of Bugs Bunny, Sonic, and one game called Dashing Desperados. Ooh, brings me back. 
and then this one it also expires 2027 so i can't wait to smell this one and here we have my sister's favorite scent she loves honey i wash the kids the scent family she also loves the scrubby um the only problem with scrubby is that it's not super exfoliating sometimes um it almost feels like a body conditioner just because it's so hydrating it's not stripping at all so if you like a very exfoliating scrub scrubby is not the one unless i've been using it wrong but this one is one spritz of this sweet honey caramel fragrance and you'll simply be irresistible super cool so excited for that one also 6.7 fluid ounces this one i believe online it retails cheaper than the rest for whatever reason and it's 38 dollars but still very pricey for a body spray okay and then let me try to find my free sample i kind of just want to like right okay okay let's dig through here we go for the free sample i decided to get beauty sleep face and body mask i think this is the same size as the gorgeous moisturizer that i have yes it is 0 0.3 ounces or 10 grams i love it how it has an expiration date it says july 2023 let me go ahead and open this so i'm not sure exactly what beauty sleep has it's a little hard to see i thought it was going to be a more vibrant purple lavender color but it's leaning a little bit towards like purpley brown it smells great it smells like it definitely has some neroli in there or orange blossom something like that but it's not too overly scented where it's off-putting or anything i feel like the gorgeous moisturizer smells stronger but i kind of like that scent a little bit more so here is my free sample I saw online that someone's order was delayed and they got a like free um, shower gel. So I was kind of hoping for that, but it's fine. I'm cool with the items that I got. Let me just check around. All right, no, it looks good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the Princess Peach body spray. I'm super excited. This came back in stock in the stores around me. Um, there's only about three or four so I'm going to spray it right now, maybe place a pickup in store order if I like it. So let's see, let me try to spray this. Okay, I got my tripod because it was a little uh, wobbly. So I have my just lounging around sweater. I typically don't spray my skin. I only spray my skin if it is a perfume. And for a body spray, I tend to spray my clothes because the fragrance sticks around a little bit longer. So here we go, the first spray. Ooh, I like it when you have to pump um, the liquid in and you know no one has used it before. It's either that or this spray is broken. Hold on. Okay. All right. Let me let that sit a bit. Okay. So I'm just going to do a quick review. I don't know if I'm going to do a designated review talking about the scent or the lasting power. But this one definitely smells more like pineapple than peach. It does have that fruit punch type of smell. It doesn't remind me of a lush spray. I feel like almost every lush spray, I can tell it's from the store. However, I could almost mistake in this for a Bath & Body Works or another type of brand of body spray. It's super juicy, super fruity. Um, however, if you primarily want a peach scent, I don't think this is a spray for you. It smells a little bit juvenile, but still very fun and flirty. It's definitely a perfect spring summer scent. I can't imagine wearing this in the fall or winter when it's rainy or when it's cold. And it almost has a hint a little bit of bubble gum. But it's really nice. The alcohol needs to dry down a bit, but... Yeah, I definitely recommend this. Um, I'm not sure why I'm getting a little bit of hint of bubblegum. I saw someone compare this to the w Bouncing Santa, which was watermelon scented. So let me go ahead, open that. I have a sample of it. So here is the Bouncing Santa jelly that someone described it smelling like. So for the Bouncing Santa jelly, it does remind me a little bit of this Princess Peach spray. However, this one is just way more fruity and bubbly bright borderline like a fruit pop i don't know if i'd be willing to spend another 45 dollars on it i have to see the lasting power just because 
I feel like, um, let's say Honey, I Wash the Kids or Rose Jam, I feel like that would last a little bit longer than this one. I feel like typically very fruity scents only last an hour or two max, but then again, I'm comparing it to Bath and Body Works. I love that this smells almost like a drink that you would have when it's very hot outside. However, this would be a drink that'd be so sweet that you would have to put ice in it because it's that sugary. I think this is sweet like Snow Fairy, but it's sweet in a different type of way. So I wouldn't necessarily say if you like Snow Fairy to buy this, but yeah, no, I like it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get another one of these. I probably might. <laughs> so here we go. Princess Peach. So far the scent, I rate it 8 out of 10. I love it. I love any type of like <laughs> juvenile scent. So it's a win for me. Okay, let's spray Honey I Wash the Kids. I've been wanting or meaning to buy this for years, but it never goes on sale. Like some Lush body sprays go on sale. Like I think Twilight one year went 50% off because it was considered like the Christmas collection. Once Upon a Time, Celebrate, Turmeric Latte, Jilted Elf, but I don't think this one would ever go on sale. So let me just pump out the air. Okay, so that one was just two spritz. Oh my gosh, this one almost smells a little bit like booze. Or it could just be the alcohol in the beginning. Let me let it air out a bit. Actually, let me give it one more spray. Is this the right one? Yeah, I need to spray it once more. Okay, for this one, it says it's supposed to be like a honey caramel toffee type of scent so for some reason the smell that i'm getting from honey i wash the kids isn't the smell that i smell in scrubby i don't know if it's the alcohol in the opening or what but it reminds me of those chocolate is it chocolate factories or something where they have the little like round chocolates that have like rum or some type of alcohol on the inside this reminds me of the filling it's like almost like a spiked caramel butterscotch so that one i have to let it wear um or let it dry down a bit. I'm also gonna have my sister smell it, so in case maybe I'm just smelling something that's not there. So far, I don't think I would repurchase this one. I'll have to see if I if it like mellows out a little bit. But here's Tony. I wash the kids, and then I have one more from Lush. All right, now we're gonna go to Rose Jam, the sweet fruity rose and vanilla scented mist. Let's see how this goes. So I sprayed the Princess Peach here. I'm gonna spray the other one a little bit closer to my arm or elbow okay that was like two spritzes i'm airing it out okay this one is a definite win i don't like rose but for some reason i tried rose argon and i think i'm hooked this one smells like it's gonna last for a very long time i don't get much of the vanilla in here but it definitely does smell like a candied like a candied floral it doesn't smell too young it doesn't smell too old i wouldn't spray this in my middle school days but definitely like high school college and onwards yes i rate this scent a uh, maybe seven out of ten just because i'm not always in the mood for florals as bit like especially roses all right so that is it for the lush portion of my haul i'm gonna go over to the etsy store that i got some items but i do want to say that the alcohol is wearing down and honey i wash the kids i don't know if it's a batch thing or what but yeah this one was from a small etsy shop called adromeda's curse so I would show the front, but it has my address. So let me, hopefully nothing broke. Here we go. Yeah, so it's just this uh, poly mailer bag. Here is the tissue paper, and I think it has their logo of the shop. So let me go ahead and open this. Okay, I don't think anything is in the tissue paper. I can go ahead throw that away. There's nothing more in the envelope. Let's see. So here we have the card. It just has the shop name Andromeda's Curse with a bunch of constellations and moons. I'm actually not sure what this is. I don't think it's constellations. I think it's the uh, moon phases. And here we have the little perfume vials. So I paid for five of them. Let's see, two for six so i believe that she included an extra one so here we have full moon rising cool 
we have poetry ribbon i think this is an extra one because i don't remember ordering this so excited to look up to see what the set notes for this are we have wild child we have patis oh gosh um the person who makes cakes and stuff patisseer oh gosh i can't tell I, I only know english strength i can pronounce that and we have moon sugar so the reason why i ordered from this shop is because someone online said that they had a peach and pineapple scent i think it's this one full moon rising but i'm not sure i need to go ahead and smell all these but yeah i'm gonna test out these little samples and maybe order a full size if i like it all right finally i'm gonna show you um the haul i got from trader joe's i got two candles and i hadn't seen them before so the first one it's actually loose so i don't know if i'm gonna return it i mean uh, maybe i'll keep it this one is the trader joe's grapefruit scented candle and then it says hand poured candle made with natural coconut soy wax blend mixed with tart fragrance lead free cotton wick this one is 5.7 ounces and if I open it up, it just has one wick right there. So let me put the lid on. Can you hear that it's loose? Um, I don't know if I'm going to return it or not. Uh, I, I probably will just burn it. And it says right here, the approximate burn time is 20 hours. So this one, I believe, was $4.99 or $5.99. So in comparison, a Bath & Body Works single wick candle, that one is... Uh, let me see, I have one right here. So a Bath & Body Works single wick candle is 7 ounces or 198 grams. So as you can see, this one is a lot taller, bigger. The one on the left on sale normally retails during semi-annual sale for about mm, $3 and like 80 something cents. The only thing is that the scent payoff isn't great. And I believe the left one is a paraffin soy wax blend, if not maybe paraffin and Trader Joe's it's saying that it has natural coconut soy wax so I really like that because it should be a cleaner burn than this one this one does get a little murky especially their three wicks and I feel like the Trader Joe's isn't super smaller compared to the one on the left the only thing is that Bath and Body Works single wicks unless you're warming them with a candle lamp they don't give much fragrance unless it's a really heavily perfumed cologne or a floral so i'm very happy with the fragrance the grapefruit is a little tart but that is just how it smells like with every type of grapefruit fragrance all right finally i want to show you the candle that i was super excited to see when i saw it pop up online so here we have the trader joe's tomato leaf scented candle this one is soy wax coconut oil and beeswax blend so i don't believe it should have any paraffin in here this one is a two lead free cotton wick it says, enjoy the seasonal aroma of freshly picked tomato leaves with hints of bergamot, rhubarb, and geranium. And this one burns for approximately 40 hours. And then the bottom right here, it says quality control pass. So for this one, in comparison to a Bath & Body Works candle. So it is about the same, um, I would say like diameter, circumference. The only thing is that the Trader Joe's one has a little like curve right here to fit the lid on. Trader Joe's is 11.28 ounces or 320 grams. And then Bath and Body Works, I want to say it's like 14.5 ounces. Yes, or 411 grams. And then of course, uh, they also have paraffin, whereas the Trader Joe's does not. So this one has a seal. I don't think I'll open it in this video, but this one does have a... Mm, somewhat realistic tomato leaf very grassy herbaceous i want to say the geranium makes it pull or lean a little floral but that's not too bad i would recommend this one if you like grass type scents um, bamboo and just anything very like watery or planty if that makes sense so yeah here are all the items in my collective haul from lush primarily a small etsy shop and trader joe's okay bye